Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to RimWorld. I'm gonna start the timer now with the no cursing. I don't think I there should be no reason that I need to swear in the next ten minutes or so. I'm sure it'll be fine. As always, I have no idea what the colony looks like, what's going on, and if we're dying. So I'm going to log in and then see what, what's going on. I have a killer headache today, so expect the worst possible. Oh my god, what is happening? Extreme break risks. Dusty. Why does Dusty not have a name? Oh, I remember. Isn't he the wrong... Oh no, he is one of us, but he's 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 struggling with pollen stimulus, pollution stimulus even. Where did you get pollution from? Is it in the rain? Is it pollution rain? Or is he huffing the the garbage bags in the <laughs> in the fridge? But hello, Art. Hello, Ariakis. How are you doing today? I have remembered. Is there a temperature overlay? I'd like to see... Oh, yeah. All these places are pretty warm. That's because it's warm outside. I need to try and make it so all of these rooms are not necessarily freezing cold. We have, we've, we've, we've had a few problems in the last few streams. Ard's in bed for some reason. Oh yes, yeah, psychite affairs. Oh, of course, we're growing psychite in a hydroponics bay. I'm thinking maybe I want to uh, build out the hydroponics. Maybe make a room for hydroponics. James is on an insulting spree, huh? Okay. Of course. Put us in there, coming. But yeah, the the main thing we need to do right at the start here is get uh, get hard some drugs. Let's just speed it up and see what happens. We have tattered apparel. Beams, Velma, and Cru who the fucking hell's Velma? Are you from a quest? Oh my god! Why do I not remember anything? My poor brain. James is Vagabonds. Hmm. Oh. oh well. Six days or so? Well, I guess we'll see what happens there. Still have the sleepies, must give coffee. I can relate. I am so tired today. It is unbelievable. Unbelievable indeed. I don't, I'm not entirely sure how I'm managing to function. Do you know those days where you just wake up? There's a massive storm going on, so I think I'm just getting, like, uh... My internal barometer is broken. I just feel remarkably crap. Hello, Mo. How are you today? <clears throat> Excuse me. I forgot just how screwed up everything was. So, um, we're gonna see if we can fix that. I want to work out where I want to build, like, a hydroponics bay. I guess I could build it here. I don't really want it in this main area here, do I? We also need to set up guns. Like, really badly. What research do we need for guns? Am I learning that? Gunsmithing, probably. Hmm. Gun turrets, there we go. Okay, so I need to learn gunsmithing, blowback operation, and then I can learn gun turrets. Ah, uh, yeah, we should probably we should probably do that. James couldn't reach Dusty, so he just redirected his anger at Chocobo. Uh oh. Who's starving? James, just go to sleep, you annoying bastard. Good man. Yeah, go to sleep in one of the prisons. That's where you belong. One of those prisons. That isn't actually a prison. Because I haven't needed it to be a prison. Oh yeah, we have these two prisoners here, don't we? Ryan's in prison because... The wrong religion. Uh, and... 
Radicon, are we trying to convert you? Are we trying to recruit you or? Apparently I'm trying to convert him. Is he good? Hey, he's not bad at melee. But I think I want to turn him into a uh, a blood farm. But I think, oh, I'm trying to convert him so he doesn't get massive debuffs every time we eat people. Non-powerist style surroundings, huh? Sorry. You're in a Cthulhu cult, mate. There's just tentacles up all the walls. That's just how it goes. The kind of place we are. Death sleeping? No. Just normal sleeping. It'd be nice if, like, normal sleep would, uh... Restore death sleep. I understand why it doesn't, but it would be nice if it did. Up twos on starvation here. Can I, uh... Rock, rock, can, you, can you go open that door for me? Means all the animals that are hungry will go and eat grass. There we go. Let's uh, let's start gunsmithing. Oh, not xenogenetics. Good lord. The weather in game is awfully similar to the weather outside my window right now. And I, I am feeling very sorry for the still BT engineers outside my house trying to install this line that they've been trying to install for like a month. They've had to delay it twice. I can only imagine it's just a nightmare project where every time they've gone to do it, it's just collapsed miserably or something. It's crazy. I, I've never seen so many engineers around, all crowded around like one manhole. But none of them know what's going on. Oh my god, Anna has given birth to a baby cow. On the plus side, it does look as though the grass is growing back. Hopefully, if we can get just a couple of weeks of growth out of our crops, we might actually be able to get the animals some proper food and stuff, which would be fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'd like to, to fix this, but we need more stone, and our stone cutter is currently in a coma. So, we're still waiting for the cycloid drugs. My money maker. Or, uh. That storeroom there is looking a little bit. Ooh. We've kind of run out of room. Let's, uh, let's mine back a bit. Hmm. Problem if I mine back is. Isn't there a. Not that I can see it, but I'm pretty sure there's a trade beacon in here somewhere. And underneath this log, it is. Okay, so it, it no, it's at its it's at its extremes, which is kind of annoying. Uh, yes, I think Anna was close to old age death like three streams ago, but she's still only 22, so I guess we haven't had a full year yet. Time in RimWorld is very strange. It can take a very long time for things to actually happen. Krula, why is with the kids and, and messing with the comms console? Just get off. Dusty's still close to having a major breakdown. Mostly because he was insulted ten times. Not my fault. I don't know who, like... I give Dusty a name, don't I? But he's going to need drugs soon. Why is he walking around so slowly? Have you got, like, one leg? Oh no, he's just in psychite deficiency. Good lord, we need drugs. We need drugs. Who needs medical treatment? Oh, asthma, of course. Hey, hey doctor, can we can we get this fixed? Oh good, we're still making fuel. I'd like to have an excess of fuel. I would put the fuel next to the generator, but I've made that mistake before. It's like, oh, I'll make it super efficient by putting the fuel next to the generator. So they just pick up the fuel and put it in the generator, and then a wall catches fire, and a nuke goes off. So I've decided to not bother doing that. This, this fuel is being kept in a stone box as far away from the base as possible. They can walk. We also need to dump this, uh, this waste. I feel like we could throw it at the nearest, uh, the nearest tribal colony. Oh, oh no! Anna's decided to run. 
Don't worry, Moo's got it. Wait. <laughs> you will no- No running for you, cow! You're not allowed to leave. Two idle colonists. Sylvie and Shu. Hmm, what can we get them to do? I guess cut down some trees. Let's, um... Let's cut down all the trees. This side of the base here. I could build the hydroponics place that I want to build out of wood. Bad idea. Building anything out of wood is a bad idea. But I am just running out of anything else. All right, if I plan this out, how am I going to plan this out? How, long, how big are hydroponics? There is a super efficient way of doing hydroponics where you put a lamp in the middle of the room and then you spiral them out to have maximum space and it's all really nice. I am too lazy for that and I also think it is remarkably uh, unrealistic. So I'm just going to build a square room and put hydroponics trays in the in the square room. There's, just don't worry about it. There's a party. Krulo's throwing a party. I don't know who you are, Krulo, but you have a very cruel name and I don't trust you. Uh, right, so if I think the wall's going to be there... Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. That's not going to work out very well, is it? Hang on, if I get a sun lamp, how big is a sun lamp? If I so if I think This is gonna get annoying, isn't it? I can feel it. Can I put this if I pause the game, put this down, and then can I click on it to see how no. Hmm okay. Plan B. I just do that, we will see. Yeah, okay. That works. So that's 10 tables. That's going to take quite a lot of power. Also, it's going to screw up my walking room because I build a wall here, it's going to be off of that wall. Yeah, that's annoying. I could move it up, I guess? Yeah, that works. I watched a very weird film last night. This is this is a tight this is like a complete tangent. But I watched a very weird film last night. And it's called Silent Night. And it's by John Woo. And there is no talk. There are three words in the whole film. It's an hour and 40 minutes long. And there are three words. The rest of it is just music and, and sound. And it is the most bizarre film I've watched in a very long time. And I loved every goddamn second of it. So I'm singing its praises. Because it is fantastic. And I wish there was more weird films like that. It has the guy out of All Mankind in it. I Silent Night. Uh, the picture is a man with a handgun against his lips. It's an action film. It's John Woo. It's got loads of slow-mo action scenes and it. it's really fun. But, uh, it, it blew me away. I was so surprised. I watched it on a bit of a whim. I always try and find a new Christmas film every Christmas time. Like, a film that's set at Christmas. Whether it's actually a Christmas film or not is up for debate. I still think Die Hard's one of the best Christmas films ever made. Um... But, like, I don't know. I, I just I watched it on a whim, and it was really good. And i very much out for saying it's worth watching. I just, it was so weird, the whole thing. Like, it must be really weird for the actors, because it was like, nobody said anything. Nobody did any talking acting. Everything was emotive acting. And it makes sense within the uh, sort of world of the of the film. The guy loses his voice. It's it's just so bizarre. My brain's turning off. Hang on. I need to move it up one more. Here we go. Down here. You up by one. Cancel you. Right, so that is... I'm going to 
put it, let's... I mean, I guess I don't need to have one around the outside of it. I could just do this. And then just have a door in the middle. Now, the amount of power this thing's going to need is probably at least one of these, right? How much does this use? This uses 2,900. I could just wire it into the grid, I guess. Or I could be crazy and build two more of these chem fuel generators. Not enough metal, huh? Po! Po, po, po. Right, okay, hang on. I think we have a miner, so I'm gonna... We just... Pause that for now? Don't don't build that yet. I'll, I'll, we'll use the one we already have to save ourselves some uh, material. Can you move hydroponics beds? No. Okay, keep that in mind. That's going to be a shame. That's going to be a real shame. Okay, so we're still low food, even though we managed to get some rice. We're not really low, we're just... Teetering on the fact that we are massively overpopulated for the amount of food we produce. This hydro I could shift these hydroponics to make potatoes. We could we could uh, role play the Martian out here and live off nothing but potatoes. Chocobo's the miner, cool. Shouldn't take much, I think. Our poplars are going to start growing again now, aren't they? So yeah, we'll be turning the poplar wood into chem fuel. Well, I do think chem fuel generators are the way to go. I'm going to build... I'm going to make it self-sufficient if I can. Uh, if I am smart about this... I can actually eat... I could heat the crops with the... With the engines... With the generators. Just would that be too hot? Let's test the theory. Also, building it like this means that I cannot extend my defenses, which could be a problem. Hmm. Hello, Kirk. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a good day at work. Uh, this time of year is a uh, Tummy is a weird one with all the Christmas working and stuff. It's it's kind of crazy. If I don't see you again before Christmas, I hope you have a good one. Getting dangerously close. I, I, this morning I woke up and I was like, oh my god, it's Christmas in, in two days. Two days? Saturday, Sunday, it's Monday. Like, ah! <laughs> when did that happen? Where did December go? I haven't quite decided if I'm doing a Christmas stream. Normally, every year I do a Christmas stream, but it's really weird this year. Because... Like... I don't know. I, I did Around the COVID times when everyone was at home, it made sense because nobody... Like, you know, it was a thing I did because... It was a way of people getting together on Christmas, you know? It makes sense. I don't know. It's, it's like... Because I streamed today... I'd normally stream tomorrow, and then I'd have to stream again on Sunday. I could just move my Saturday stream to Sunday, which is, is, is might be what happens. I don't know. I, I gotta give it some thought. I gotta see what happens. But um, I'm definitely not streaming on Monday. That's that's pretty set in stone. Yeah, it's it, it's Christmas. I'll be I'll be eating food. I ain't I ain't streaming. Okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll be eating Christmas dinner. That's uh. That's what I'll be doing right there. I'm going to install two vents. Come on, no, one vent. We'll do one vent first. I guess I should do two vents, actually, because I can open and close it to the outside. You're having so many people over, you'd be cooking for seven hours? Good lord, we have, like, no one coming over. It's just me and my, my parents, which is how I like it, because I'm an antisocial bastard. Uh, <laughs> but like uh, it, it should be fun. Hopefully, I, uh, I do like this time of year. It's the food. That's what it is. I just like eating food. Hmm. 
So she is laying. Where is she getting this rock? Oh, James is making the marble chunks. Oh, good job. Okay, well, you've replaced Ard temporarily in the uh, in the production chain there. Let's get our friend here to make another large sculpture as well. Inspired trade fiesta. How does a child have inspired trade? <laughs> I have come up with the most interesting. And curious, wait, why is there a guinea pig in the church? Hang on, I've got to be completely sidetracked here. There's a guinea pig in the church. How did that happen? Whose guinea pig is this? It can open doors? Is this my guinea pig? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> is that, is that Moose guinea pig? Should we name him? What should we name him then? Name me a guinea pig. Apparently this is a female guinea pig. Nibbles. Let me actually... There you go. If, uh, there is actually a chance that if we put a animal bed... I need to sneeze. Oh no. Why is there a kid in this bedroom? What's going on? Oh, it's gone. Oh, fuck's sake. Don't you just hate it when you need to sneeze and then it just doesn't happen? Oh, God. Um, Yeah, if we put Nibbles in your room, there's a chance you'll actually develop a bond to the animal. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Do -do. Oh, Anna's roaming away again. We want to get that... I'm going to get that bloody cow. I'm going to close these again. Are we going to get the cow? Anybody going to get the cow? The cow is slowly walking away. Now one has started to roam. Anybody going to get the cow? Anybody at all? Oh, wait, no. Okay, Anna's roaming back down again. I'm sure this 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 is a situation that will sort itself out without my intervention. There you go, show's got him. Oh, I move. Wait. Okay, so the animals aren't starving anymore, which means grass is growing in their in their pens. Once the hay, the hay is growing, I'll get rid of this, and they'll have their own source of food inside of their barn, which is. I probably should put a heater in here, but it's 31 degrees. This this map is really cold. Or really warm. There doesn't appear to be anything in between the two. It's kind of crazy. What's this? Is this still more compacted steel? Yeah, let's go. Let's mine it all out. I don't want Shay doing research, but eh. at least we don't have any food. Good lord. I was going to say, at least we don't have any. <laughs> idle people, but goddamn, where's all the food? Okay, hang on. I reckon Moo can kill some donkeys. There's a wag out there. Oh, God. I don't know. Do I have anyone who's good with animals now? I must do, right? Show is really good with animals. If he gets into a fight and gets killed by the wag, it's going to be so embarrassing. But I kind of want the wag. Wags are really good, like attack animals. There's also a timber wolf, but not an arctic wolf, so you know it's not quite as cool. There's a forty percent chance of attacking him. Oh no! Let's see what happens. You have a weapon? Oh god, he does not. Conversion. Hey! Now you become a blood bag. Uh, can I just... Yeah, hemogen farm. There we go. Party, right. Sweet. So now it's just tattered to peril of the people over here. We're going to see if they stay before we see if we can get them in a year. Any new outfits or anything? Oh, it's right. 
Yay, Ryan's one of us again now. You, you are free from the prison, my dear fellow. You may leave the prison. You are one of us now. And stop being a whiny bastard about absolutely everything. Quick stint in the joint, that, uh, you know. Right way of fixing people's problems. How much Imogen do we have? Are the vampires suffering right now? I think they might be. Uh oh. Um, I don't know what happens when it runs out. Oh, they become very unhappy. I mean, out of all the bad things that could happen, very unhappy is kind of... could be worse, right? right? Are we making the sculpture now? Is, is it Dusty? Dusty is our... Artiste, yes? Yes, he is. Hopefully he'll do that. Plus side, this is coming along quite nicely. How much iron do we have? Where is my... Iron. <laughs> Where, where's... What storeroom is that being? Oh, it's over here. Do I only have 60? Why don't I just look up here? God, one of these is... Oh, I have 840. Yeah, no, that should be enough. Oh, I'm wired it in. Good lord. Hang on. Not a very smart man. I'm gonna wire it all in. Right. So. The real question is, do I wire these into the main grid? In theory, it seems like a great idea. In practice, it's possible that I would juice up my circuits so much that we're just gonna, if it does go zzzt, with, like it will just blow open half of the base. There is something to be said about having an isolated circuit, but right now I guess nothing's happening, so let's, uh... Do I have switches? Do you have to research switches? I actually don't know. Also, I've just remembered that there is a search function in here. Power switch. No, it's in electricity. I literally just saw the, the search bar. Remember all those times I was like, hey, where's the thing I'm looking for? The comms console. I could have just searched it. Same thing down here. I can just go switch. And it'll go power switch. You know those moments where you just feel like an absolute idiot? Definitely one of those moments right there. Okay, so we, we have plenty of wood as well. Oh, hell yeah! Show tamed the, uh... The wag, first time. Let's go, I need a name for a wag. This is getting the full guard and attack uh, training. And we'll see who becomes the animal master. I'm getting a roof. Getting this setup should help us quite a lot. How close are those to being most available? Dark craft. You have intercepted a distress signal. A hostile shuttle carrying a sanguifage master and three thall thralls is having trouble with its engines. You can use signals to draw it down to crash near Arkham. Once the ship has crashed, you can fight the sanguifage and her minions. If you can capture the master, you can force her to turn one of your colonists into a sanguifage. It's okay, I've, I've got two. I don't need more. That, though, that is the quest that lets you get a vampire in your colony without starting with one. Which is quite cool. If you are that way inclined. Which, of course, I am. Not that the vampires are having a very good time at the moment because of the whole no blood. 
might be worth me going into uh, extraction mode. I'm gonna try and get some prisoners, I think. I'm, like, really badly try and get some prisoners. Oh, they'll be upset because they're not. Wait, will they be upset? They might not be because they're one of us. They're not. Let's go. Okay, no, he will. Eh. Wait. Change, you're not one of us? Detective Divinity. Okay, I guess because he's not part of our, like, group. Hey. Uh, I'm not. Oh, God. Oh, inspire creativity. The next art or furniture he creates will be two quality levels higher than it would otherwise be. This allows the creation of legendary items. Okay, hang on. That's actually really important. James, are you the man who's making stuff? Oh, you are very good artistically, huh? You're also a pyromaniac. Oh, God. Should we see if we can make him make a, like... Really nice sculpture. Hmm, what do I want to make it out of? I could make it out of silver. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. <laughs> so, what? Well, it would require. This is a small volume ingredient. This means each unit is only one tenth. So it would cost me four thousand silver. I don't think I can afford four thousand silver. I can make it out of steel. I don't think I can make a grand sculpture. I think it's. I don't have enough materials right now. I can make it out of wood. Uh, wood doesn't look very nice. But you know what? Screw it. All right. Make it out of wood. Yo, James. Make me proud. You can go in the church. You'll be the most fantastic thing ever. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's going to take him a while to get all the wood, I think. It's just a wog. That's Jesus. There it is. Okay. See, this was what I was worried about. Ah, yes. I see Show is going to put out the fire with a bucket of chem fuel. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Okay, <laughs> just run, running at the fire with a can of gas seems like a really bad idea. I didn't. That wasn't so bad. Could have been worse. Still have eight hundred left. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if we can build these. How many components do I have? This is something I should be worried about. Twenty-one. Okay, that's enough. I kind of want to move that sun lamp, but I'm starting to think maybe I should just build another sun lamp. And then just dismantle this once these have grown. It's so wasteful, though. They're only 50% grown, so... Taking a while, you know? Minor break risk? Who's that? No one. It's gone. Never mind. They were just temporarily mildly perturbed at the current situation they find themselves in. How hot is it in here? 42. Starvation? James? Oh. Sorry, James. Eat something. I was like, oh, you will work! You will work until you die! Um... 
Can I temporarily make Arch your most important thing? I need to get some floors in here. I might start using just wood again. I was trying to avoid using wood because it's kind of boring and it doesn't make it look very nice in terms of beauty. It's just zero, whereas stone is one. It looks nicer. So people are like, oh, my room's really nice. But I don't know. I'm getting to the point where I might just go with it. Uh, do you know what? Let's just build the damn lamp. It's slightly inefficient, but at this point, who cares? Now, you can put hydroponic basins in unroofed locations, if I remember correctly. You can use the light of outside to uh, to grow stuff, but I, I do believe there is a downside somewhere. I don't remember what the downside is, but I do believe there is one. If it gets rained on, it explodes, maybe? Ooh, an, a, an exotic goods trader. We don't have any drugs to sell you, so... Bugger. But I will see what he has to sell. Limestone over there. I'm thinking I can I can uh, pull down some of these ruins. Right, what do we got? What do we got? I could sell. I want to keep the the camel because or dromedary because. It's a pack animal? They're selling a husky. Oh, I want a husky. It's completely pointless. It'll eat all our food and it, and it isn't really a combat animal. I can sell the wag for $339. Components are used a lot of those. I have four advanced components. Oh, interesting. We do sell plasteel, but we're not really at a point where we can make stuff out of plasteel just yet. An architect eye is something that calls me. It's basically it's an eye replacement, but it's better than a normal eye. Real arm? I don't suppose you got any legs. No, I, I might buy all of their gold. Hmm. Not yet. Not yet. I will just do that. Buy your components and be done with it. I'm definitely going to need those components. So. Oh, is Ryan right? not got a bedroom? But I guess somebody stole Ryan's bedroom, huh? <laughs> Oops. Don't worry about it. It'll just be a few for for a few days. Don't don't worry, Ryan. You'll be, you'll be fine. Why is there no food? What is? Oh, I guess Moo's been hunting. Gonna have to get that sorted though, because people are eating raw food. And it's causing break risks. What's that even? That looks important. Oh never mind, it's not important. Gunsmithing! Right. Gunsmithing, blowback operation. Let's get that sorted. We can make our own guns now if we set up a uh not a smithing table, what is it? It's a machining table. I would like to get a more secure way of making iron, though. Normally I rely on traders, but right now we're kind of shit out of luck. That's it, a machining table makes the machining guns. Exactly. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. <laughs> this is my machining gun. I was going to make a bridge port joke, but I feel that not many people even know what a bridge port is. So, CNC machine, don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> For a second there, I look like somebody who doesn't just play video games on the internet. The machinist? You had the, uh, the mechanist in Fallout. <laughs> That was a fun uh, DLC. So I think so far my idea of heating the indoors with these two chem fuel generators is working quite well. We'll have to see. I don't know. We're growing rice right now. I'm just going to 
No, build complete makes a large, large sculpture. That wasn't what you were supposed to be doing. Where's it? James. Oh, he's making, making fuel. I'm not going to stop him doing that. Is he now going to make... Yeah, he is. He's going to continue with his sculpture. We're back onto low food again, which is a bit worrying. Yeah, that's it, the Fallout one. Me and I had the same thought. <laughs> yeah, with the antagonizer. God damn. That was such a good DLC. So good. Breaking Skull Account. Yeah, I'm not interested in getting more people right now. We need to stabilize the colony. We've got a lot of people in this colony. Where I like supplies. Why I kind of B-rushed the... <laughs> Hydroponics. How long left on these drugs? Because we desperately need them. Good lord. Too long. We do have some rice now, though. How long's left on the hay? Almost there. I do miss Fallout 4. I like. Every time I think about Fallout 4 or Skyrim or whatever, I'm like, oh man, those games were so good. And then when I think of Starfield, I just don't fucking care. I cannot believe how much that game let me down. I was so excited for that bloody game. So excited. Like, new Bethesda game, yeah, it's gonna be great. Maybe I should just go play Fallout 76. <laughs> Everyone's like, it's better now. It's really good. It's had loads of expansions and it's really good. And I'm like, yeah. Should I? Should I go play Fallout 76? Be a laugh. I'm pretty sure I have it on PC and on PlayStation. I'd probably play it on PC though, because I'm pretty sure it's probably better on PC. I know the uh, the PlayStation version was a bit nerf. I wonder if I could heat the main room with this one. I don't know if it's too small. And again, we've got vents going like everywhere, so... It's such a big area. Do you know what? I'm actually going to do that. Let's see how this works. Let's do that and then close this. Thanks, show. You just took the wall out, but you didn't install the vent. <sighs> Thanks. Or Shay will build it. Right, so that's open that up. If it suddenly starts creeping up to be like a hundred degrees in here, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to put a stop to it. But it could also be a problem in the summer when things start getting really hot. Only one, okay. But we can close vents, which make them they they become walls. Basically, they stop a lot of the heat transfer. Hey, that rice is 46% grown already? Jesus. Low back operation? Good lord. Gun turrets, let's go. And then we're going to start setting up a defensive perimeter. Not really sure how I'm going to do it, though. Honestly. Yes, I could get rid of all this. I could just put guns down here. I can't remember the range of the guns, but I think it's probably most of this. We'll see. Fiesta's on the bloody com console again. What is going on? I have five idle colonists, sir. Something has gone horribly wrong. Why do I have so many idle people? Get to work, you whippersnappers! You know, it might be time for me to get rid of the ducks. Maybe I should put the ducks in their own pen somewhere. Uh... Is Cecilia good at plants now? Should I just get rid of Cecilia off of planting? Oh, she's not too bad. Could be better. But I do think we have quite a lot of people who are good at growing now. Oh, like James is pretty good. Keep him on art for now. I want him to finish that sculpture. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be a masterpiece. I can feel it. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a boon to the colony. A, a vestige. I wonder what it's actually gonna be though, because obviously they make the art about stuff. Probably that time we all died. That's the goal for today's stream, by the way, is to not have a colony-ending death.
Damn it. <laughs> Come down here. Harvest botched. <clears throat> damn it, show. Can you wait like five seconds for Moo to finish cooking the damn food? <sighs> Psychoid's almost there. Hold on, Ard. You're, you're going to make it. <clears throat> oh my. No, my voice is dying. Uh, as always. Say that like it's a new thing. How long do we have left here? 41 days. We've got 20 days. <laughs> oh, cargo pods. <gasps> steel? 200 steel? Don't mind if I do. Good lord. Let me go get that. Because for some reason we still haven't built the... How do we run out of? We run out of iron. Steel. Makes sense. I'm gonna go get that steel so I can finish the hydroponics bay. <laughs> it, oh, it's a hundred per table? Good lord. Um, yeah, that's quite expensive. Mine some more. We went from having quite a lot of steel to having literally no steel. In very, very quick succession, though. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Where are the big ducks? Did they die of old age? Oh no, they're sleeping down here. <laughs> they're in the stable, mate. Okay. We'll be able to save an awful lot of power when I get rid of this. Having two sun lamps is just over the top. If they lose power, by the way, everything in the hydroponics bay dies. So that's something we have to watch out for. It's not a half of it's not a bad amount of food, you know. It grows so quickly. Except for drugs. Apparently drugs don't grow very quickly, but this is all going to be drugs, by the way. I don't know if I've mentioned that. This is just going to be a drug farm. <laughs> it means I can turn this into something like strawberries or something and we can eat it. I mean, I could just use this for food production and then turn the, the rice field into drugs. That's a dumb idea. It's so dumb, it might be funny. Nah, there's no way 10 hydroponics beds would be enough to feed this colony, I don't think. I mean, maybe? It, it is growing at like 200%. Yeah, 250%. Like, look at that speed. Oh, there's the gun turrets. Um, what does gas operation give me? Chain shotguns, heavy SMGs, and LMGs. I wouldn't mind an LMG. That'd be pretty fun. Could get auto doors? Could get beer brewing. Beer's a good way of making people happy. We have a package survival meal. Major break risk, what's going on? Dusty, what are you what is wrong with you? Oh, he's being rebuffed. Doesn't like being rebuffed. Plus, like, we're looking good on the old hemogen, which is nice. Ah, uh, it's still in the sarc sarcophagus. Kind of funny. <laughs> this one table, out growing at a different speed to everything else, is going to annoy the hell out of me, but... Yeah, I'll be fine. What is the ideal growing temperature for this... 58, so anything between 0 and 58, so it's 39. What about psychoid? 0 and 58, the same, okay. Hungry pet animals? Oh no, not again. Good lord, can this hay hurry up and grow? Wait, did I not hit the research? Yes, I didn't. I need to finish the bloody throne room. 
<clears throat> got so much random rubbish going on right now. I'm tempted to send people out to get berries or something. But... Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. <clears throat> Animal starvation's a problem though, so let's do what we always do and open the door. There they go. <laughs> Don't worry, the the the, the hay is will be grown soon. Nothing to worry about. Psychoids almost grown. We're definitely running out of time here. More days are going past than I feel I want to admit. Yeah, we're at 43 days out of 60. I think it'll be okay. How long does Psychoid take to grow then? Is it like... Nine days? Okay, that's probably why it's taking so bloody long. Then we've got to process it, we shouldn't take too long at all. What's this? Oh, talk to me. I'm not going to ask where we got that from. Games can no longer work. Restriction has been removed. Ah! <gasps> the refugees are leaving? Ah! James thanks you for allowing him to stay at Arkham for these nine days. He's now moving on with his people. He won't forget what we did. Ah! he didn't finish his... Oh my god, there was 37 left. Colour me mildly perturbed. Oh well. Nothing you can do about it. Uh, I'm gonna cancel it because I don't actually want a wooden grand sculpture. Uh, it was just if I could get a masterpiece one, it'd be worth a lot of money. Plus, I we don't need as much food now. So who's Velma? Is Velma just like one of us? I guess so. I don't know where she came from. I'm actually kind of confused. I need to name them as well, which is something I haven't done yet. Dusty and Velma? I guess I could... Uh, I could put Blub in the game, I suppose. I haven't put Blub in the game for a while. Ooh, quest complete. Huh? You can you successfully complete the quest, James is Vagabond. Oh, that's boring. Good blood in the game. Normally he's a probably won't mind being an artist. His title is Carver. Oh, speak of the devil and he shall appear. That's weird. Hello, blub. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> That's weird. That's freaked me out. So we still need the drug. So we're having a distinct drug to this uh, disadvantage here right now. How are you doing? Are you having a? Are you are you working? Are you off? Are you off work now? A lot of people have broken up for work today, haven't they? From. Uh, Get those half days because of Christmas. Not everyone does, but some people do. 99% grown? Come on, psychoid. Wait, who's going to make the drugs? Do you have to be a crafter to make drugs? You do. I don't have any other crafters. Uh, guess it's going to be Moo. <laughs> Moo the drug chef. Can we check on the guinea pig? Nibbles the guinea pig. Age one. Perfect health. What's the average? How long do guinea pigs live for? Four. Okay. Last day before vacation, we'll have the day off. 
Hey, Skyrim, hell yeah. You know what you're here. Hello, Fedora. Gonna have breakfast with the family? You're not gonna get lost again, are you? I remember. But have fun. Thanks for popping in, greatly appreciate it. You get to add bubbles to the game. I guess I can turn, I can call Velma Bubbles. <laughs> I've got a name for Velma. Uh, bubbles, Bubbles. I don't know what she does, she's the miner. Bubbles McGrath? I don't know why, that seems like a brilliant name. I'm gonna stick with it. Call them Bubbles McGrath. Yeah, so we should have, the, in theory, we should have the guinea pig for many years. I have so much shit to do today. <laughs> I mean, we had mornings here. I tend to sleep through most of my mornings, though. I'm the sort of person, I wake up at like 10. And everyone's like, how, how do you do it? I'm like, well, I stay up till like 2 in the morning. So it evens out, trust me. I don't have... It's like people who get up early and go to bed early don't seem to understand that you can, in fact, shift the time. It's the same amount of time. It's just shifted slightly. It's a very complex argument I've had with people. They seem to assume that, like, I go to bed at, like, 2 and then I stay in bed till, like, 4 or something. I don't know. Well, if you're on well, sleep's the best thing you can do. I'm, I'm just not a morning person. I cannot stand mornings. I hate them. Never, never have liked them. Distinctly upsetting. Here we go. 99%. Come on, go to 100. We need these drugs. Art is not going to survive without these drugs. Okay, ready to harvest. Let's go. Right, then we need to get Moo on the table. So I'm going to leave that for a second. Right, so now we have a single piece of yayo. We go into here, we go health, operations. We don't remove the tongue, we administer yayo. <coughs> oh my god. Ah, excuse me. I hope I'm not getting bloody sick, that'd be annoying. It is almost traditional to get sick at the same time as Christmas. That's it, the more I barely make breakfast, exactly. <gasps> He's up! There we go. Odds up. I gotta make sure that everyone's actually getting their drugs, haven't I? Uh... Bubbles is... Uh, are you a waster? No, you're not a waster. Who's wasters? Blub's a waster. The blub gets drugs. Ryan's a waster. Seems like an insult, doesn't it? It's like, yeah, look at that waster! It's like, no, it's just a race. And hopefully we can make enough drugs to keep this going. Right, and let's just... Deconstruct this. Deconstruct this. I get drugs. Let's go. Yeah, you get, you get one shot. Yeah, yeah. And then I should probably turn my attention to uh, turning this into a drug farm. Do, do, do. Wait, how far off growing are you? 81%. All right, we'll wait for another harvest first. And then we'll turn it into a psycho farm. Oh, wait. The guy in the prison. No, the guy in the prison isn't a waste Good. I want, I want imp prisoners. I don't want waste of prisoners. Did the guinea pig just go in there and eat one of those rice plants? Why did we have to just replant one of those? I bet you it's the fucking guinea pig. Heat stroke? Why are you getting heat stroke? Initial heat stroke. Oh, it's 42 degrees outside. Oh, it's a dry thunderstorm? Uh oh. Um, this could be a problem. This music really doesn't purvey how desperately dangerous this whole situation is. 
my my buildings are still mostly made out of wood, you see. Which would very much be a problem. Can I have Can I have some rain? Ah, get on it, guys. Hmm. I wonder if people can actually get struck by lightning. It seems possible, doesn't it? Oh, no, types two. <laughs> ah, I that hit. Okay, now that's not so bad. Uh, what was that noise? Something just bit the big one. What the hell was that? It wasn't a guinea pig, was it? No. Nibbles is fine. Oh, I do need to put Ariakas in the game, don't I? I need to get somebody else. How has Ariakas not been in the game yet? Oh my god, how has that happened? Oh, next person. I really do need to get more bedrooms. Maybe? I don't know. I guess you just haven't crossed my mind. <laughs> You've probably been working every time there's been a new person or something, and I just haven't thought about it. I am notoriously terrible at naming people in these games, though, so... You yeah, know. Uh, let's... Oh, this is going to be a pain in the ass. How have these trees not grown yet? Oh, they're really close. Okay. It's fucking song, man. I swear to God. At least it rained. Put out all the bloody fires. I really should put Ard somewhere nicer than the than the fridge, but I'm still holding out a vain hope that we can resurrect him and then rename Ard 2.0. Uh oh. Oh no, it's the bloody furries. Oh god, there's so many of them. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> it was weird. I don't even know. <laughs> My brain went, well, Blub has to be named like six streams ago and I haven't got around to it yet. I probably should do it. <laughs> and then you arrived and it was just weird. Is that, is that a robot with a riot shield? Oh my god. It's a potato and a riot helmet. Oh my How long has that been a thing? <sighs> you know, you, you and bloody show, right? I swear to god. He, uh, Mr. Trigg watched you play Ready or Not, and he was like, we need to play it. I'm like, oh god damn it, man. It's good, I like it. Nah, if you're in the chat area, because I'll be like, who haven't I named? And I'll see your name and be like, yeah, that's who I haven't named. It's fine. I'm going to wait for them to attack me, I guess. Has Shay got a weapon? Ah, oh, man, if I could capture one of them. I need, oh, I need to try and capture them alive. How am I going to do this? Shay is just a killing machine. She doesn't do capture alive. Maybe we'll hope that these, these don't kill them. Do you want to be a, do you want to be a furry? If we capture one of these, I can, I can make you a furry if you like, area, because... Do you, want, do you want to be a black fur or brown fur? <laughs> gold? It is gold. I love the way I'm just watching them charge at my base. Maybe I should like, I don't know, assemble the troops. That might be, might be in my best interest. Do I have... Any ranged weapons? No siree. Not like Ryan's very good with them anyway. We have we have Moo. A sharpshooter. Cecilia has a rifle. I forgot about that. 
uh, Blub has a bow. Somehow, I don't know how he got it, but he's got one. Joe has nothing, but I'll give him a spear, I think. Are they wolf furries or a fox? I don't actually know. Uh, they just look furry. Uh, they're yetis, apparently. They're designed to thrive on cold worlds. But bubbles? Can bubbles do anything, actually? I didn't check her. Not really. She's not really a combatant. Go over here. No. <laughs> what was that noise? Oh. Ah. Uh. Ah, he died. Poop. Hey, can one of you not die? Fuck's sake. Oh, oh, you brought me some yayo. Ah, <sighs> well, you know. At least we didn't have a colony ending problem. Could go chase that guy down, but he's probably long gone. Another wag there. A male wag. Is that other wag a female? Nope. That won't work. <laughs> I know biology. Yeah, my, my wooden defenses are too strong. <laughs> they are impenetrable. Oh, hello. I've apparently just come down to making more cows. Um... Has this hay been grown yet? No, we're almost there. Good lord. Once that hay is in the frickin' stable, I think we're gonna be pretty decent. Plus, side, like, we can now eat these people. Some free meat. Aha! And here's some rice. I'm a little bit worried, actually, because we don't appear to be really stockpiling any food for any length of time. Even though we're growing tons of it. So, I don't know if I should actually turn this into a drug production. Oh, grow? It is red, it is grown. I also need to set up, like, a furnace to dispose of goods that isn't just a campfire in the middle of the church. Hungry pen animals again? Good god. Come on, guys, go eat the bloody grass. That's it. That's it. Make drugs and then pay somebody else to for the food. The problem is with Randy and how just completely random it seems to be. What is fiber corn? An inedible, fibrous plant which produces a small amount of wood like substance. Is that if you can't get trees? That'd be really good for, like, an ice challenge where you can't grow trees. I could just grow weed. Smoke leaf. Now nah, we're going all in on the psych psychotics. <laughs> That's it, yeah. It's fiber corn. Uh, to keep you regular, you got to eat five kernels of fiber corn every day. Aha! Here comes the hay! Let's go. I think I may have overdone it. I think I might have too much hay. Oh my god. I've gone from not enough hay to just more hay than I know what to possibly do with. We'll see. And the trees are finally grown as well. And the cotton. Hmm. Which means I could, maybe. Put some carpet in here. What colour carpet goes in a throne room? Pastel orange! Yeah, no. Um... Viridian. What a nice name. <laughs> Surely the gay will keep. Are you telling me that in your life you type he you type gay more than hay? 
<laughs> I mean, I guess it checks out. You're more likely to say it, I guess. How many times in my life do I say hey? Marsh green just looks like vomit. I kind of just want like a purple. Deep purple. Let's just go with deep purple. 50-50. I suppose you do live next to a farm, so... There is a chance that maybe you would say... A. Slightly more than... Normies. I'm just going with purple because it fits Cthulhu a little bit better in my mind. I would go for like the super expensive carpet, but it's going to take forever to get that much cotton, so I'm just going to go with the cheap carpet and upgrade it slowly. I just want to get floor down. Hello, Wolvark the second. How are you doing? Welcome in. We do need a research project. I've just been casually ignoring this research project this whole time. Uh, I could get packaged survival meals because they're quite useful when you're going on long journeys. Not that we've gone on many long journeys, because the, the colony is so unstable that if I take anyone out of it, it all falls apart. I'm doing well. Nothing's burned down yet, so that's a step in the right direction. I could get coca trees? Chocolate's pretty good. I'm gonna research that. Chocolate's good because you can trade it, but it's also good as like a... a boon. Have I literally... have I actually trapped Shay in the goddamn... Whoops. How did I do that? How long has she been in there? Good thing she's undying. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, praying for escape. A mistake. I have realized my mistake here. I shouldn't have put that door there. Entirely sure why I have. That door is supposed to go over there. We, I, I don't think we've run out of bedrooms now because the guests left. Yeah, so Ryan's taken one of the prison cells. Uh, the unfinished prison cells. So many rooms are just unfinished. I swear, I start doing a room and then I'm just like, let's do something else. Young travelers request resources. A group of poor children are approaching looking for help. The children are begging for 340 silver. They want the silver so they can buy back a friend who was recently kidnapped. You can give items to the children by selecting a colonist. Do I want to give 340 silver to some children? Seems like a scam, man. I don't know. Maybe it'll be fine. Maybe I should be kind. Should I be kind? That's the real question. We're a Cthulhu-esque cult. I'm not entirely sure kind comes into it. That's where all the wood's going, Marie. You tell them to get a job. Uh, not sure that would work out too well. I have just remembered though, I kind of need wood, and I think there's a wooden farm around here somewhere. Logging camp. I'd go attack it, you know. There is also this ancient complex over here that I need to go find, but I've been paranoid about this entire time. Uh, there's a hunting camp there. Bird skin and pemmican could be nice. Peace talks, I can bugger off. I think I'm going to what is obviously a trap. Another thing coming. Uh, let's... You know what, let's go over to that work, that camp. Who are we taking? Let's send, obviously, Shay. Let's send Shay and Moose the Cook. So maybe don't send Moose. Let's send Cecilia. He has a rifle. What more do you need? Um... The only advantage to sending Mu is that she can butcher bodies and stuff over there, so maybe I will send them, send them both. I'm just going to take these, uh, these waste packs here. Oh, 
I forgot to select the animals. I was like, why can't I carry anything? Oh man, muffalos are so much better than camels. Good lord, maybe I should just get muffalos, get rid of the camel. Only 36 kilograms. That's terrible. Plus I can take all the toxic waste packs with me. Haha. <laughs> Oh, I have, a, I have a large wooden sculpture I haven't used. I really need to get rid of all this junk, don't I? Good lord, why haven't we burned these? I need to, uh, I'm gonna go over my clothes. I think when I get back. Uh, do I want to take hay with me? I mean, I guess maybe. How long is it going to take to get there? 0.3 days, yeah, we don't have to worry too much. The colonists will not gather to leave the area. Why are we tying them to the <laughs> to the heel route? Yeah, this is where we uh, we gather for the the caravan, lads. I think you can put caravan spots down. Maybe I should uh under miscellaneous caravan hitching spot. Yeah, maybe I should actually put that over there. Not that it matters right now. A group of travellers are passing by. Oh, well, they're off. Alright, how bad do you reckon this is going to be? I don't think it's going to be that bad. I've got to get in at least one raid every stream, right? This is where it goes to night time before we get there. And this could be distinctly upsetting. Did I use up all of the cotton? No, okay, so the only reason we stopped was because Shay went on a mission. Right, what is here? Guns? Or is a solar panel? Solar panel tends to mean guns. But I don't see any guns. So maybe not. Let's go. Oh god, there they are. Uh, okay, hang on. I've decided I want to pull back. They've only got knives, so... Maybe Cecilia can shoot them. Oh, man. Oof. Well, they're dead. Why did Cecilia not like whatever just happened? Witnessed family member's death. Ah, oh, it's fine. Sure, it's fine. Oh, is that your aunt? That's not so bad. That's not so bad. I was for a second there, I was like, maybe this is awful, but nah, it's fine. Uh, let's go with miscellaneous here. Make a... Wait, no, it's production, isn't it? A butcher spot. Uh, da -da -da -da. Allow human corpses, yep. Moo can get started on breaking down the goods. Oh, sorry, they're all disallowed. I was really confused for a second. I was like, why can't we do anything? Right. Is there a gun down here? I don't think so. Don't. Break the door, bloody hell. Housekeeping. What kind of table is that? A marble table? Interesting. Plate beds. Where is the... <laughs> Where's the damn storeroom? 
It's probably this big building over here, right? <laughs> yeah, that, that seems to be the case, huh? Uh... Housekeeping. Yeah, it is. All right. Deconstruct everything. And then let's uh, let's reconvene the caravan. All right. So first things first, we want to get rid of the toxic waste packs. Thanks, guys. Okay. Oh, we didn't we didn't butcher the the people, did we? Um. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Ooh, I need you to. They're much easier to carry when they're in small chunks. There we go. <laughs> I'll never get used to playing as a cannibal. <laughs> Swear to God. Right, now I need to make sure I drop off the toxic waste again. Want any of that? Um... Don't need their visage mask. Uranium mask? Good lord. My bed. That's an excellent wooden dining chair. I mean, I'll take, I'll take it. <laughs> Why not? I can always find place for my chairs, and I'll take the human leather as well. Uh, travel supplies. I want to take all the human meat. I'm going to take all the berries. Screw it. Why not? Fine meals. Simple meals. Okay, so we're not even close to full up. What else can we take here? I could take the limestone chunks and stuff. The wood, obviously. That would be the smartest move. That's what I came here for. Uh, I don't really want their knives. Kind of poop. Awful jackets. Poor. Sandstone normals. Or tainted anyway. I think the standing lamp. Sure. Why not? That'll do it. We got one kilogram left there. So we'll just... It takes a while to get back, but... We got ourselves some goodies. Okay, how much hay do we have? A lot. Good. Hopefully that lasts for long enough. Still, food is a little bit of a curious problem. We do not seem to be growing enough food. I am kind of tempted to turn this psychoid plant farm here into a food production farm. Even if it's just increasing the rice farm all the way up here. Since we are now hydroponically growing large volumes of drugs. The most efficient way, obviously. Look, we've already got 14. I think 12 of that was from somebody else's pocket, though. So. Not sure that counts. Really do need to get rid of this campfire. <laughs> That's how we venerate our church, you see? There's a there's a guiding light. Nope, we're still making chem fuel. We still have enough chem fuel to keep everything going. Is that switch on or off? Oh, oh, okay. If I turn that switch off, it will isolate it. Does it have enough power to actually run itself? 1,000, 1,000. So we have 2,000. Well, this requires 2,900, so no. No, it doesn't have enough power to power itself. <laughs> oh, well. The thought was nice. Oh, here we go. This is where we start bringing in tons of drugs, huh? Yeah, let's go. What is Arnold doing right now? Other than hobbling around. Ah, making yo-yo. Let's go. Oh, yeah, yo sorry. Ah, glorious day. The drug harvest's in. This is where we won't have a trader for just forever. Heat stroke. Jay and Cecilia have heat stroke? Was that from the long walk? What kind of... What kind of thing is that? Or is it just really hot here? Animal filth. Ah, yes, that's right. Bring the animals through the base. What a perfectly good idea. <laughs> I'm going to install this standing lamp somewhere. It's going to be in one of these bedrooms. There we go. Alright, and that wood should be enough for us to build our... bedrooms. I have a thousand hay. I've overdone it. I've definitely overdone it. <laughs> It's 
<laughs> that fridge. The stable, just full of hay. What have I done? I'm gonna expand that zone out just a little bit, just to make sure. We always have enough. Everybody gets a bed. Other than those ducks that are getting slaughtered, they don't get a bed. Major break risk? Bubbles? Ah, food poisoning. Lovely. That old chestnut. Really should move the kitchen. Something I keep saying I'm going to do. And I've said I'm going to do it like five or six times now. Um... Ideally, I kind of want it to be on its own. Like its own area. Where not many people walk through. It's the, it's the walking through that causes problems. I also don't want animals to be able to go in there because animal filth is a serious problem. Even stuff like the guinea pigs have animal filth, I believe. Much Like a guinea pig is much less than like a wolf, but animal filth makes people sick. Oh, wow, we, we actually managed to carpet the whole bloody... I have done this very inefficiently. Uh, the whole throne room here. Once all the floor's down, uh, we can put braziers in here. Bonsai pots. Satisfies ideologist's requirements, huh? Nipples is clean. Oh, I don't know, man. Animal filth. Filthy. Filthy creatures. Hmm. Slag. Steel slag. Can I put slag in here as well? Very often you get to type slag on screen and on stream and not get banned. Uh, yeah, we'll put we'll put it over there, and we'll, I'm just gonna get rid of this. Cleans up some space I can use outside. Can I? Do you reckon I can get away with actually designating power on that now? I could do it with somebody else working on crafting that isn't Moo, ideally, because I guess it could be bubbles. Does anyone have any interest? That's the question. I guess I could get Ryan to do it. But like, hang on, so... Uh, how do I make it so he doesn't do stuff I don't want him to do? Because ideally I just want him to work this. Ryan. Right. Awful to how could if I've got awful to normal, how is stuff up here still surviving? Oh I'm sure. Well mostly because it hasn't been on. That would explain it. Ah yes, we'll also make biofuel for the uh, for the weed farm. Is this where do you know that stereotypical thing when you yeah, when you get like a heat camera and you can tell which house is growing weed in the year. Uh... This might be a very British thing. <laughs> when it snows, right, and then you look across a housing estate, the house that doesn't have any snow on the roof is a weed farm. Uh... <laughs> I'll never forget that. It's the funniest thing I ever, I ever realized. I was like, oh my god. So this, this here is, the, is going to be the warmest place. Up here is really warm. 50 degrees, 46. It's getting dangerously warm. But that's because it's getting pretty warm outside. Fiesta's still learning in the school, which is good. And it also means Ryan will do that. Okay, so it takes art off of having to worry about a lot of the, the mundane crafting tasks. And now we can focus on just distilling huge volumes of cocaine. Um... That's good. 
kind of senseless anyway. Wait, I suppose, but like blacksmithing, does that have its own thing? That's not just crafting, is it? That's... Yeah, no, that's smithing. Okay, so as long as I make sure that Ard is still doing the smithing and the, the tailoring rather than just the mundane crafting, yeah, it actually works out quite a lot better. That's it, yeah. You put them in the basement and then you isolate the basement with like insulation and ground insulation and you should be fine. <laughs> growth moment and then they just get you by looking at your electricity bill fiesta has reached the biological age of seven and has experienced a growth moment there are a number of new passions now old enough to firefight handle cook grow all this sort of stuff right do i want them to have a passion in melee cooking social medical crafting or mining i mean honestly a combat skill is probably pretty good so i'm gonna go with melee cooking could be useful Maybe medical? Because we don't really have another medic. Mining and crafting is kind of eh. Good cooking, screw it. Kind of confused. I'll select a trait. Wait. Scroll. <laughs> I was like, hmm, there's nothing out here. Scroll wheel. Uh, do we want them to be a recluse, trigger happy, creepy breathing, <laughs> abrasive, masochist, or very neurotic? Hmm. I'm gonna go with trigger happy. <laughs> and then just never give them a gun. Neurotic. Means they uh, their mental state breaks, but they work quicker. They work quicker, but they get upset quicker, basically. Distinct problem. Are these marble tiles? They are. Let's finish off the floors in here. Mm, look, we've almost... Oh, there is, there isn't a tile underneath the throne. Whoops. <laughs> this is my dirt throne. The perfect dirt throne. Detected a farming worksite controlled by info. Oh, I really should check whose farms I'm raiding. I don't want to raid the farms of my allies. That's probably a bad idea. <laughs> the dirt. The dirt throne. Is it bear time? Nah, it's fine. I'm only going to do a two hour stream today. In fact, if I am only doing a two-hour stream today, I'm, I'm getting dangerously close to the end of the stream. Like, half an hour. Good lord. I swear to god, I never achieve anything. I suppose that's not true. I built a hydroponics lab. That's more than I normally do in one of these streams. I kind of want to build, like, flower beds and stuff, which sounds really stupid, but the flower beds uh, really help boost the mood of people. I could also... could grow one of these pods. A Carulean tree. Nah. It, it ends up just taking somebody out of the loop. It's kind of annoying. Do, 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 do. Let's build some beds as well. I can hear just crazy rain outside my house right now. <laughs> Probably find out it's flooded or something. We're like, oh no. I was going to wonder why these, this door hasn't been taken down, but yeah, for now it doesn't really matter that much. Blub and bubbles, like gabbed about something. At least the floors aren't ridiculously dirty all the time now. We have a lot of people who are actually, they have time to clean. We're at that point where we have enough people in the colony so things don't just slowly spiral out of control. This is the point I've kind of been waiting for. It's where we can kind of specialize more on stuff. Wow, for yesterday, just learned melee too. Masterwork. Shay has created a masterwork wooden bed. 
An engraving on this furniture shows a cow giving birth to a cow who is glowing softly black. A, bre a brewer watches from a distance. The work is shaded in hues of white and grey. This portrayal tells the story of the cow giving birth to the cow on the 7th of September 5503. At least it isn't an indoor pool. Does anyone remember that? <laughs> Subnautica. Hey, I got myself an indoor pool. Um, a curve like a cow is the title of the work. God damn it. That's so good. I do feel like somebody should probably have that bird. Um, I mean, Shay is like the leader here. Uh, let's... Oh, God. What do I do with a masterwork bed? Who do I give it to? Right now, it's nobody's. I mean, I guess I should give it a blub. This is the room it was supposed to be. We'll see. I might move it around. But I need to clean out this room here, because this room here is just kind of stupid. In fact, I could put the freaking fridge in there. No, the kitchen in there. But then, on the other hand... Wait, mm, actually, no, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Let's get rid of this awful wooden bed. Just, just deconstruct it. Let's keep the lamp. We're going to deconstruct this wooden door. So people don't use it as a path through. Wooden wall. Major break rest, heat stroke, that's not good. It's six degrees inside the fridge? How freaking hot is it outside? 46 degrees? Oh my god. Why did I build a, a settlement on bloody hell's bum hole? What's going on? Yeah, I kind of need you to... No wood, huh? Uh-oh. Right now, the fridge is just leaking because there's no door. More problem. There we go. Good thing all this stuff doesn't spoil really quickly, like all the human meat. No, sir. Alright, so now the plan was to reinstall the kitchen over here. But actually, no, I've got a better idea. First, let's change the flooring to sterile... That's very expensive. I didn't see how expensive that was, but I have a feeling that was very expensive. More expensive than I wanted to be. The church is kind of... In fact, everywhere is kind of okay, other than the... Down here and the... Stable hospital workshop area? What in God's name happened there? Oh, it's all the floor, isn't it? I was really confused. I was like, why is there just loads of wood on the floor? Fiesta tried to convert bubbles to his ideology? Wait a minute. Is Fiesta still the wrong ideology? God damn it. Can I arrest a child? Am I allowed to arrest a child? Is that a thing we can do? Let's find out. Good. Get in the hole. Let me go get that food. Alright, so Fiesta is in this one here. Alright, you believe in the wrong god. I'm sick of it going around converting our people. That is a, that is a, an offense, an affront. How dare you? I'm just waiting for somebody to have a um, chemical 
break down and just huff all the air. We know it's going to happen. It's only a matter of time. Back down to zero in the fridge, which is good. Fifteen in the kitchen. Well, what will be the kitchen? Can people not use this as a frickin' path through? You know what? Let's block that. I don't want people walking through here. I'm trying to limit the, the amount that people walk through here. I guess what I could do is limit that door, and then people will... The cook will walk in like this, and everybody else will just walk in here. It'll slow the cook down, I guess? What's happening? Bubbles started a photo social fight with Shokobo? Is one of them kills each other? Okay, no, they're fine. They just beat the shit out of each other. Just fist. Just fisty cuffs and bruising. Nobody pulled out a knife or something. Good old gentleman's fight! Yes. Yeah. Greensbury rules. Well, tribute collector, they can bugger off. I ain't got enough to feed myself, let alone give you. I'm wondering if we'll get a... Uh, a trader we can sell some of these trucks to, that'd be nice. Bulk goods trader would be quite nice. I guess I need an... I think I need an exotic trader to be able to sell the drugs, and then a bulk goods trader would let me buy loads of steel and stuff, which would be really nice. We've run out of blood again, haven't we? <laughs> Health operations. Extract hemogen. There's got to be a mod for this, right? Where it just automatically does this. Because my freaking. Just think of it as like donating blood. It's fine. I won't do it to the two guys who beat themselves up. Just everybody else. I haven't been paying attention to how quick this is actually growing, but we do appear to have lots of leaves in the fridge. So I think that's a good thing, but that could just be from this, the psycho plants over here, I'm not entirely sure. Like, they, even if they grow at 100%, 150%, that still takes a long time. Are you guys beating the crap out of each other in my house? Get out of here. No one gonna help that guy? Is that biocoded? That's not biocoded. Can I... Can I steal that? Do you reckon I'll mind if I steal that charge lance? What's the worst that could happen? I declare war? The Empire declares war on me? That'd be pretty bad. Maybe I should wait for them to leave before I steal their stuff. Oops. Can I save the game before I touch this? Mm, mine now. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's okay, so who who wants a charge lance? Good lord, charge lances are really good. A pulse-charged rail-assisted lance weapon. It fires a single shot at high velocity, charging it with unsustainable energy as it leaves the acceleration rail. Thing's lethal. It's, I, I still don't think it's as good as the Masterwork bow that Mu has. Might be better than the hunting rifle, the bolt-action rifle. Don't actually remember. I think I'll, I'll leave it with bubbles for now. But if we get somebody who's good at fighting, it might be a good idea. I do need to build the armory at some point as well. A place where we can just keep all our weapons so I know what we have. I mean, I could put it in here. Oh, wait, we have, we have that sculpture, don't we? Where is it? We also have that excellent dining chair that I can... I'm sure I can find a place for it. The smelter, maybe? Not in the smelter, but for the smelter. 
Uh, where is that grand sculpture? There it is. 200. Title is Pirate. This work bears the an image of the minor celebrity, Anton. The overall composition is static. I'm going to install it like there. Looks a bit ominous, but it should give a mood boof. A mood boof? A mood boof. A mood buff to people who walk past it. And everyone walks past it when they want to go to bed, so... Let's have a look at the beauty of this area now. Yeah, seat 200, good lord. It even it undoes most of the minus 5th aims from having poo on the floor. I guess because Ryan was the one doing all the cleaning, maybe? Oh, Sylvie's cleaning now, actually. It's fine. Ah, kitchen's done. Uh, let's reinstall the kitchen in here. Go to the corner, I think. No, not in the middle of the corner. Middle of the corner. Middle of the corner. Let's just put it put it in the middle. A normal wooden stall. Let's deconstruct that. Let's see if we can get ourselves a nice, a nice stall. He says, staring at the thing, desperately trying to see where stools are. Why can I not see? Oh, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I can't see stools. Oh, I don't have any stools. Hey, do you know that excellent chair that we stole? I'm getting it reinstalled. <laughs> I've run out of wood again. Bugger. I'm sure that won't be a problem. I think it's because we keep turning it into fuel. I should probably try and use something else to make fuel. I don't really want to make hay with it, though, so I don't know. Because the hay is for the animals, so I, and I don't really have any other biologic... I, can, I, guess, I guess I could use rice, but we kind of eat that. Oh, no. Ooh, an exotic goods trader. The Rat Lord Industries. Let's go. All hail the Rat Lord. Okay. What do they got? They got some turkeys. We can get some turkeys for Christmas. Uh, calf one. Nibble, I could get $113 for nibbles. Anna's uh, made it to 23. Anna, even. Could sell some of these other cows. Components while I'm here. Cost me 300. Advanced component. Okay. <laughs> No. Yeah, take all my drugs. That gives me 700 to play with. Plasteel. Death rest capacities. I'm so tempted to get that. Bionic leg. You know what? Fuck it. I'm getting a bionic leg. Hard's getting an upgrade. Could get some Luciferium. Luciferium's great. If you can if you can get like an unlimited supply of Luciferium, that stuff is just insanely powerful. It like grow back small limbs and makes like your body just heal. You basically live forever. But if you don't get it, you die. So you go into a ballistic rage and then kill everyone around you and then you die. It's, uh, it's pretty it's pretty pretty mean. Uh, do I want to sell some of these cows? I am kind of tempted to sell some of the cows. Keep the bull and then just sell the cows. I'm, also, I'm going to sell the camel because the camel was crap. Oh, was it, was it crap because it was small though? It might just be young. Okay, I'll hold on to it. Never mind. Take it back. We'll sell the cows though. Leaves me with a nice little profit of 80. See that bionic leg? Let's get it installed. Right leg. How bad can this go? There is a small chance that we uh, rip his leg off, break the mod, and kill him. So... We could go horribly wrong. But it's only a leg. There isn't many important parts in the body around the leg. And he can you can lose a leg without being... Really bad, you know? I'm going to make sure Sylvie is the one who does it. Oh, missing bionic leg. Huh? Oh. 
There we go. It was because somebody was walking it to the uh, storeroom. Like, I'm pretty sure I just bought a... Mm, should I use, like, actual medicine? Nah, herbal medicine will be fine. How good is Sylvia being a medic? 14? He's a master? I think we'll be okay. Unless she really fucks it up. Which in itself would be very funny. At least this is sad. This should stop people getting sick. Or well, as sick. There's still a chance people will get sick, but there's much less traffic through there now. I didn't actually like, look at the bionic leg. Well, look. It should... Yeah, it's 25% it's more efficient than a human leg. So, and it also like heals itself. So if anything, Art will be walking quicker than he was before. <laughs> and assuming he doesn't die. Oh my god, did it just work? Hey look, there's your peg leg. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Bionic leg. Efficiency, 125%. Let's go. No more hobble. No more hobbling around the base. Badly hurt with show. Jesus Christ, these guys are still in bed. Yeah, I don't have anything else to sell them, but we are still making drugs. It's good, because I need the drugs for the people. Our wasters, otherwise they get... They get upset. Them being upset is a problem. Uh, unowned, unowned, unowned. Uh, let's move Ryan up into one of these bedrooms. Well... When we have wood, I would like to get that in there. And then I'm going to make this into a prisoner. Not that we're getting any goddamn prisoners. <laughs> Jumping around over the walls with one leg. Yep. That sounds about right. Gabbed about cooking onions. What an exciting conversation. And again, I'm sure I've had conversations of equal dullness and thoroughly enjoyed them, so I can't really judge. I'll talk about anything. Okay, the uh, exotic goods trade was left range, but... We seem to have enough hemorrhage, which is quite nice for now. Need to work on it here, don't I? Let's, uh, let's get another... Another, let's get another large sculpture. Let's make it out of not wood. Make it out of marble. Marble's nice. It's gonna cost quite a lot of marble, but ah, the throne room's almost finished. Let's build the busier that we need. 50 steel. We have enough steel, right? Yeah, we have 500, right? This is going to make this room very, very warm. <laughs> but I think we need two. I don't remember. I'll double check. Okay. Probably should build some coca trees. Build some trees, yeah. That's how it worked. Yeah, you talk it and you just build the trees. Common misconception. People think you grow them, but no, you build them. I hate this here. I need to do something. Ugly. I do not like ugly. Let's cut down some trees as well. Apparently we've run out. How we keep running out of wood, I'll never know. Why do I have so much plain leather? Good God. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make some plain leather dusters. Oh. I'm going to make more dusters. Uh, uh, burn apparel. Why? What's the details on this burn apparel? This is the any quality but low percentage. This one is. What is this one? Just any quality, any percent. Oh, is it just tainted? Yeah, just tainted. That's burn tainted gear. But then if I go burn apparel. 
thanks for stopping by, Blub. Hopefully I shall see you again soon. Have a wonderful Christmas if I don't speak to you before then. Or I shall see you again soon enough. I'll be ending myself very soon. I'm only doing two hours today. For this one, I want anything that is... Awful to normal. And I just want it gone. I don't care what it is. We're just going to burn it. Let's install some wooden flooring. Finish that off. I don't know if we've had a growth cycle on our... I'm not paying enough attention. We do seem to have quite a lot more drugs than we normally have, though, so maybe we have. I know we don't have a lot of rice, which is kind of worrying. But all in all, nothing has gone horribly wrong. Oh, God, Zazelia, why? Minor pain? Oh, the old gunshot. I don't think there's anything you can do about old gunshots, really. Oh, yeah, your niece died. Ooh, Ooh yeah, that was nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me at all. No sir, no siree. Burn those poor human leather pants. Yeah, I want to keep like... Excellent, I guess. I mean, good is good. Uh, I'd like to keep like excellent stuff. Oh, yeah, poor tribal wear. Why is that in there? Why is that not being burned? Good lord. But all in all, I'd say this this stream went very well, which is a surprise. I expected to die. Still we need death rest. Let's quickly do that, shall we? Conversion? Ha 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 ha! Fiesta is now one of us. Uh, that prison cell, you. Go back to school. <laughs> Which is basically the same thing. But, you know, one of them lies to you more. Oh, I'll let you decide which one that is. Right, let's get advanced light. Right, well, we're getting real close to the end of the stream here, so I'm just going to set Sylvie onto her death rest. I think in the next stream slash episode, we will be uh, improving the death rest chamber, making it so it's not so poop. Not that it matters too much because they do like it, but we could also finish the throne room. Oh wait, let me just quickly, before I end here, let's assign that. Is her throne room missing anything? it is so then it's just a case of getting some columns in here uh, because it looks nice been distracted haven't I I was ending the bloody stream um structure I'm really good at ending streams I don't know if you've noticed <laughs> I was looking at that there going, ah, something's not right here. Yeah. Put that like that. Uh, move. Install these back here, I think. Do I even need them? I mean, with the uh, with the braziers, you don't really have to. I do that. You don't really have to worry about it. Too much. I suppose he made that statue. Blob's making it. Oh yeah, that is the artist now, isn't it? Blob's the artist. So close. So close there to finishing that off. Anyway. 
Yes. I'll worry about. We'll finish off the death resting chamber. We'll probably make the throne room look nice. But uh, thank you for being here, uh, Moon. Hopefully you feel better soon. God damn, everyone's sick at the moment. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Now I'm going to end it here. I don't think. Oh, I just realised that uh, Jenny was not there. Follow me. I apologise. My my alerts are broken. Thank you very much for the follow. Greatly appreciated. Uh, fuck. I need to find out why that keeps happening. Halfway through the stream, they just stop working. I really do need to fix that. Very much for the follow. It's greatly appreciated. I hope you enjoyed. Remote, I will be back again. I almost said tomorrow. But I don't think I'll do tomorrow. I think I'll do Sunday. We'll do the Christmas stream on Sunday. And if you're around, you're around. If not, have a wonderful Christmas. And I shall uh, speak to you all then. I need to get the bed on. Oh. Oh, big, big me. That's big me. Bye. Yeah, if you don't see each other again, have a wonderful holiday time, exactly. Have a wonderful time. Yeah. I'm sure I'll see you all around. Bye bye. Oh, hello, Cosmo. Lurkin. <laughs>